Hello truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. I'm seeing a couple of drivers coming in uh, that they couldn't find loads. Interesting, but uh, either way, wake up this morning to, well, just under 110000 in the bank account. It is 6.14 in the morning. We are somewhere in Texas. I know we're headed to Corpus Christi, uh, just south of Houston. So we got to go through Victoria and then down to Corpus, Corpus Christi and where we go from there. Well, like we always know, that all depends on uh, what we get for loads. Uh, let's see. Back straight up, I suppose. And I don't see anyone behind us, but... Let's hope we don't get a random car coming on in. It looks like I can turn in a little bit that way. All right, we got room to get on out now, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, uh, which way am I going here? Is it to... All right, looks like to the right. Looking at the arrows now. All right, we're all set there. Uh, let me double check traffic. And let's get on the interstate and get going. Good news is um, I'm not going through Houston, so we're, we're, we're all set here, I do believe. Let me get all out into the lane we need to be in. A little cloudy this morning, so maybe some rain today, possibly see how we move along uh, what's the weight 50,000 no okay we're, we're in only in the 30,000 low 30s so not much weight behind us I probably could have guessed that seeing how well we're picking up speed let's see speed limit is 75 I think I think I'm I'm settling in now we're 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 kind of all set Although this road does not look like a road that should be 75, but I would have guessed 65. Full of fuel. Yes, we are. Good. Let's get somewhat up to speed here. All right, so we should be there by 9. I think, uh, if I remember, is it 2 o'clock I got to get there? Yeah, 2.30. So, more than enough time unless detours I've tried to sneak around a couple of detours through our journey here it's worked a couple times and a couple times it has uh, we, we've had a little fender bender I think we were trying to get around a helicopter I think at one point probably a medevac and uh, they were trying to probably leave with a patient in the helicopter and we tried to sneak through and I mean we got through just that sometimes the detours can lead you a long ways around. But uh, fingers crossed, no detours, at least this morning. Let me get this delivery done and go from there. And we're going to try to head west or north and avoid going east and northeast. Uh, I probably shouldn't be actually on this lane because I'm guessing I know we got an uh, exit in Victoria but I guess this is not Victoria that we're in or approaching oh here here's our exit coming on up let me get over into this lane here. Yeah, put the direction light on after you're pretty much in the lane. And also we got a construction zone coming up. So which lane is the one that's closed? Anybody? What lane's closed? Or is it just going to be like a construction zone to where there's actually no lane closed? Alright. Oh, and I'm Son of a... See, I'm too busy looking at the construction zone 
I missed my exit. Well, that's a good start. Luckily, <laughs> okay, it's going to add about an hour or, you know, a little bit over an hour to our trip. I basically got to take the next exit, turn around, come back down that side. Yep, so much for a detour, but uh, I'm taking one now. All because I was too busy staring at the signs, looking at the lanes like, where, where's my, what lane's closed? And now we're slowing way down. Oh, because we're getting down to one lane. Luckily, I'm the owner, so the only one that can compl you know, get the complaint at me is me. Well, Cindy sometimes does speak up, but she does so after we get done driving for the day. She doesn't want to upset me as I'm driving, but at the end of the day, she'll, you know, let me have it for my driving styles and habits that I have. Alright, is this where we're going to come up here and turn around? Looks like it. Not sure exactly how we're doing this, but uh, looks like I'm making a figure eight in town. Alright, I see how they have me doing this. So, yeah, uh, up almost up to 110000 which is great. Because we are saving up for a brand new truck. Let me turn on my direction light here. And our new driver, whom that may ever be, will get to drive this truck. As I play Ring Around the Rosie here. Let's see how many vehicles in front of us, because all these vehicles in front of us we're in front of us on the interstate we're just on. So I wonder how many are going to be doing the same thing we're doing. Are, they, are you guys just doing a loop-de-loop? -loop? Hope the truck is not turning left. Okay, it's turning. They're turning right. But I am guessing we're going to need, you know, like 150, 175. I think when we get to like 150, 160... We can start, you know, stopping at cities that have a dealership and seeing what kind of trucks they have that fit our needs. And if so, we can go ahead and and do the whole swap out thing. But we got a little bit more ways to go on that. It's hard to tell because sometimes, as we all know, your drivers can have a really good day. And, I mean, they probably have good days every day. It's just a matter of when they bring the loads in. We've had a couple days where we barely made, you know, brought in 10 grand. And then there's other days I wake up and we've made like 20, 30. So, you know, it could be two, three episodes from now. Oh, you're stopping? I was trying to... Okay, dude. It's one of those things you're trying to estimate when a vehicle's to be going through. And they slowed down because they saw me coming up. And I thought they were going to continue on the speed they were going, and they'd be in front of me. Kind of the same thing in Farming Simulator, for those who watch that, those series, with AI traffic. Oh yeah, but getting back to, you know, buying a new truck, it all depends on... Uh, what dealership we roll into, and yeah, we would definitely like a truck with a decent amount of horsepower behind it. I think we're rocking a 625 Caterpillar engine in this one. That's a modded engine, by the way. And like I usually say, most of the mods I am running in this series, you can find a link to it in the description below. I think I have a couple of modded engine packs going. Alright, let's ignore the construction signs this time and focus on your exit, which is here. Mm -hmm. 
That's my horn. That's a misclick. Don't want to get too far out in the road because traffic will stop and let me in. Which is fine, but it's not what we want to do here. Oops, and I got my wrong direction light on too. That was, uh... Just ignore that. That didn't happen either. That's the button I was trying to hit before, but I hit my horn. Uh, I was going to do a rolling stop, but with a cop coming. Alright, now we should be on our way to Corpus Christi. With more construction. <laughs> A whole lot of construction going on down here in Victoria. Uh, 35 and there is a cop in front of us but I'm not sure if that it's it's hard to tell with the traveling cops if they're the ones that are you know doing the radar or are they just AI traffic Dude, it's a red light. You're already out there. <laughs> Don't block traffic. Oh, and I get the green light, which is great. Yeah, 45 is a speed limit. Oh, for a minute I thought that was a chopper up there, but that's a... A biplane? Biplane... All right, terrible joke, yeah. It's like a dad joke. I'm not a dad and it wasn't really a joke, but we'll clarify it as one. Right, so how are we doing ETA? Now it's 11 o'clock. As long as we get there by the time we're supposed to. And I did feel the bump in that road right there. So why are we slowing that, that far, that much the way down there? That was not necessary. Um, we have been on this road before. According to GPS. But then again, I think Corpus Christi's got just a one-way road going through it. Waiting for that car to move ahead. Yeah, I'm wondering why I'm getting some drivers coming back without loads. There wasn't no... Well, all depends on how long ago they were coming back. I mean, they could have been, like, way on the East Coast. And for some reason, I do notice it when a game updates. And, of course, it's been, like, three or four episodes since ATS really had the update uh, for us. So maybe they've been driving it back across country and resetting. That sign says Corpus Christi to the right, so we're going to the right. But it looks like there's a lot of traffic in front of us, and we may not make the light. And No, it's turning red. Oops. Going too slow for the gear that we're in. Oh, that's a loan payment. I'm like, what, what did I just do? 
Is that the same truck that went like halfway through the red light before and then went finally turned right on red? I'm gonna say it was. I will say when I go around the corners with this trailer that we have, it's uh it's a long trailer. I'm not going to get there until about 11.30 in the, uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, in the morning. Getting close to the afternoon hours. Guess I'm following the trucks in front of me. Just making sure... Saw no traffic coming. I just want to make sure the trucks in front of us got through the intersection far enough. I don't need to be uh, stuck on in the intersection. I mean, I don't need to be, need to be really rushing past these truckers, but that guy is going kind of on the slow side. We're only like 30 miles out, so not too far before we'll be where we need to be. I'm not sure what it is about Texas, but I just can't uh, seem to drive in Texas. So maybe it's not just AI traffic. I think I'm doing the same thing. Especially when it comes to Houston. <laughs> but the one earlier this morning, you know, that's... I was too focused on the construction zone and forgot all about our exit that was coming up. So, Corpus Christi, you, uh, where am I going? Uh, CMA dash CGM. Not really sure what that uh, all those initials stand for, but that's where we're going with chlorine. Wait, I was supposed to get off at that exit? Are you kidding me? It didn't look like uh, I was supposed to get off of that. Now I'm not going to be there until about one o'clock. I, I'm, I'm really trying to push this deadline as much as I can. I gotta get out of Texas. So much for my buffer zone that I had for plenty of time to get there. And it's not the detours that the, the game's giving me, it's the detours I'm taking. And why are we slowing down so much here? Gordon. At least that's the name of the, on the trailer in front of us. We're going past the theme park? Kind of looks like it. It's a good day for an extended ride, I suppose. Although it's cutting into our profits by uh, doing all this. Yeah, more construction, good. Make me focus on roads that aren't closed, or lanes that aren't closed, so I miss my, uh, my exit. So not that exit. All right, so we can see how today's gonna go. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull in front of this truck. Oh, one of those days. Why is it with me in Texas?
construction zone. Don't blame it on that. Although, of course, it's everything uh, so far has been my fault. Luckily, you don't take no damage driving into some invisible walls. Now, for those of you kind of new to ATS, I actually do have the barricades uh, turned off, so... Oh, that's the wrong... Jeez, now I'm getting the wrong gears. I'm getting all flustered now. Um, but yeah, in the game, there's, there would be X's there saying that road does not go through. But I got those turned off to be more realistic, in a sense. We're not realistic. To make it more immersive, that's the word I want to use. Because in reality, if that road's there, um, then it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, and also we didn't take any, yeah, we don't think we took any damage there. Uh, no, we didn't. Because really hitting something like that, if I were to run to a concrete wall at that speed, yeah, that my truck at the bottom of the screen would be almost completely red. So not too bad. I should have been there by 9 o'clock in the morning, and now it's uh, 12.30. And now we're expected at uh, 1 o'clock. And now we're probably going to get a little bit of music because it, we're, we're in the two-hour limit. So cue the music. It should be playing dunce music at this time uh, because that's the way I've been driving this morning. And let's get this load done with. <laughs> Move on, shall we? I mean, there's only 12 miles left, so I can't see myself missing another turn, but... Um, give me the opportunity and I shall. Feels like I'm speeding all the way through here, but I'm not even doing the speed limit. Oh yeah, I was going to check to see what key bind it is for me to resize the map on the GPS. So that would help me in situations where I get into tighter areas with exit ramps and such. So maybe after I get this load done, I'll have a quick check. Actually, wait a minute. Is it this key? Should I be hitting keys? Oh, I remember the key! I'm a genius. It, it, well, I'm not a genius. I just remembered what I had to do. Um, here's where we're going. Uh, you want to open? Come on. There we go. Didn't swing wide enough, I don't... Think, you know, wait, we're in. All right, uh, and I see the where we gotta go. The question is, all right, what we're gonna do is just drive in through here like this. Oh boy, this is a tight one. Oh, fence. Yeah, not not the best approach, honestly. All right, we're we're at the fence. I can't do it anymore. Now, what I got to remember is there's act the the rear wheel on the trailer does turn, so that's going to make that trailer turn pretty darn good. Uh, apparently, I'm in the zone, but uh, we're going to do just a little bit better than that. Try to make up for the, my terrible driving this morning. I do apologize for that. that and just continues. Although we do got a bull nose on the front, so that's going to help out the situation the front of the truck. Maybe not as well as it should be. All right, the trailer is there. But honestly, you know, what am I doing? I mean, the trailer's ours, so 
Um, let's go ahead and unload the trailer. Don't know what they're unloading into, but it's going to say excellent work. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where they were on the drive over, but uh, all right. So yeah, let's let's see what we got for cargo. That's what we need. And here we are in Corpus Christi. Uh, let's see, Laredo, Houston, Dallas, Brownsville, Wilmington, North Carolina. That would be interesting. It's a, it's a long haul, but what else do we got here? Uh, Texas, New Mexico. That's kind of the direction I would like to go. Um, just under six dollars a mile. I almost said six dollars an hour. Well, I guess everything out of here is not that great for a price. Not the ten, you know, ten dollars per mile we were getting. So I suppose going. Just taking, a, I don't want to say take a short ride, which is chlorine, which I could have just brought over our, you know, as it is. Um, what day is this? Tuesday. And it needs to be there by the end of Wednesday. Well, actually, depending on our driving time, um, a little bit more than that. And we got 11 hours. So I got, what time is it? It's 1.30. Uh, since we're unloading and loading back up, we're adding two hours to our drive time. That means we can drive until 7.00 which means five and a half hours. And then uh, that we should be able to get that load there in time. Oh yeah, and I haven't subtracted, well, we haven't loaded up the hour, but we still got plenty of time to do that. That's what we're taking because we're here. So now I got to go register. My trailer got... Yep. It, it does, let's, okay, let's just say it now. It's just going to be one of those episodes, so... And I don't think I'm going to get my trailer around... ...that either. But maybe I will. I'm trying to hug this fence as best I can to get around it. Alright, we actually got around that. Okay. I didn't think I was going to, but we did. Yeah, give me give me a job, and I, I need to get out of here. I just need to, I just need to go. Uh, let's take that job there. Don't have me go in the same spot. Well, you, you don't, but it, it's kind of close. Can I... No, I can't drive through either. So I'm going to have to back in there. Right, so this should be... I mean, I got out when I was closer to that, so getting in should be a little bit easier, right? Uh, make sure we're in R1. I don't want to say trust that the front's not going to hit the fence line, but I think I'm getting kind of close. And I did not cut that at a good angle at all. No, this is not, that's not good. Let me try to square it up a little bit more. All right, now we got it. I'm sorry, Cindy. I apologize to all the viewers. I gotta apologize to you now because this has just uh, been terrible. Been an absolutely terrible day. Of driving, at least. Uh, the scenery and the weather's been great. Okay, we're 
past the trailer. Missed the fence for a change. Now I'm doubling and tripling checking to make sure no cars are coming. I guess the positive I'm going to take out of all of this so far, of my driving for the last six, seven, eight hours in game, uh, no fines and no damage to the vehicle other than tire wear. Although, I should have been here like at 9, 9.30 in the morning, and we got here like at 1. But we did get paid. I forgot what we got paid, but was it 4500 Is that... For some reason, I got 4500 in my mind for that delivery. I didn't see uh, what we got paid when we just dropped that off, but... I want to say it was 4500 uh, This trip here, we're getting paid 4100 Yeah, I'm not sure what we delivered the few, first few times with this tanker. We were getting paid pretty close to $10, $10 per mile. Which is pretty darn good. And just a reminder, in case there's new viewers, we are running the Realistic Economy mod. So if you're playing with base game economy, I even forgot what uh, the mile it, what you got paid per mile in the base game. But I'm pretty sure it's a lot more than, you know, I'm excited for $10 a mile. That's pretty darn good. All right, so we're headed to uh, Artissa, New Mexico. I still got to drive through Texas, though. So I think what I got to do is that uh, when I'm on the interstate like we're kind of doing now, we got a long journey, is leave the scaling on the GPS kind of where it is so it gives me a longer advance warning of uh, where we need to turn now that I remember what key it is. Because that scale there, I'm going to be on a turn before I know it. At least by having that scale on there, I and you guys can see roughly when a turn's coming up. I think I'll have to figure out, I don't really use uh, my keyboard too much when I'm driving. And I'm trying to figure out, do I have any trying to picture my uh, my shifter and my steering wheel if I got any buttons available to change it on there and I don't think so and, and now I'm trying to think are there any buttons I can get rid of and map it to there so it's easier because right now in order for me to change that scaling I gotta basically reach across myself to get on the keyboard and hope I don't hit the wrong key because, uh, no, my luck, I'll, I'll be doing like 75 on the interstate and I'll hit like the parking brake or something. Which I don't know what would happen if I did. It could be entertaining. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now to find out, but. Alright, so somewhere around 5 o'clock, uh, we'll have to check to see. Where is a good place to call it an evening? So I'll let you, I usually check about two hours before our driving time is over. 
so I have some, you know, places to figure out where I can possibly stop and, and rest. I could probably buy that too is uh, I could probably get rid of well not get rid of uh, we, we use it once in a while is my raise and lower the rear axle of the truck to sometimes get on a trailer yes I'll pull in you know I figured you'd, you'd want me to come on in so I don't really do that too often Try to do the rolling stop. So, in other words, slow down to about five miles an hour. No, too fast. Is it five or three miles an hour? I forgot what it was that you can do a rolling inspection, if you will. Are gonna let me in. I don't think they wanted to, but um, they did. And this is this has been one of those days, uh, especially the first half of the day. Actually, mostly two thirds of the day, where it's just been terrible driving, and you're just looking forward to getting to the end of the shift. And that's the way I feel right now. <laughs> And I, I'm just waiting for uh, what's them saying? Are the other shoe to drop, or you know, I don't know what other things I could say, but yeah, I'm just waiting for something else to jump out at me, just to you know, top off the day. out. Okay, we finish at 7. At least that's the plan. Somewhere around there. So that means we got about 6 hours left to our destination. We start at 6 a.m. So I should be there at noon tomorrow. So that gives me five and a half hours to screw up and make it kind of close again. Something like that. Speed limit dropped down to 65. I need to get all the way over because we're exiting, but uh, then keeping to the left. does make me wonder though we dropped off chlorine and we picked up chlorine yeah so I'm wondering if we're just uh, you know didn't pick up the same load that we had in a sense to bring it where it needs to go they could have just said hey you want to just bring it there uh, stay right in this lane because we're getting back off and we're staying to the right so, it looks like we're taking the I-10, I think.
Oh crap, am I supposed to... Yep, we're taking this exit. I saw it real close there for a second. I'm like, no, we're swinging to the right. But no, we're, we got to take the underpass. Or sorry, to the left. To, to go under the road that we're currently on. Yeah, I just don't like that GPS zoomed in like that. It's just too much. But it, it does make it clear when you got that many roads clustered together which one you should be taking. I know there's still going to be some people turn on voice GPS and uh, no. I tried it when it first came out. I don't, it's been a while since it's been out. And I forgot it was out. Uh, I didn't like it. I don't like it in real life. Yeah, I gotta see if I can remap that key to something on my uh, my shifter or my steering wheel. I mean, I guess I could get rid of the horn. I mean, do I really use the horn that much? And unfortunately, it really doesn't do anything in real life either. Or not in real life, but <laughs> sorry, in the game. Although some will say it does help move traffic. Um, oh yeah, and uh, I should be checking because it's 5 o'clock. I need to be thinking about checking for a rest area two hours out. Well, there's one right there, but that's a little bit too close. Uh, this is going to be more than two hours, isn't it? That's an hour and 43, so that is perfect, actually. Um, no fuel station there, but that, that's fine. I'm sure not just myself, uh, but Cindy will be happy that the day will be over. It's been a rough one. Been a rough one, but uh, we're getting jobs done. Can't say so much about my drivers today getting loads done. I think one, <laughs> and of course, as I say it, Paul chimes in with some money. Why, why did we slow that much up? Isn't speed limit? The speed limit's 80 through here. And for some reason, we slowed down to 60. Now watch, now that the truck is off the road, that white van's gonna pick up speed. It's the way it goes. Yep. Yeah. And it's the way they go. Alright, I'll get back over. And of course, just as I do, I'm noticing a truck coming on. So I want to give him some space to get out here. This day can't get over soon enough. It seems like traffic is just... Not, now what are you doing? Now you're going to brake check me? Are you getting off? You better be. I, I, I'm just not sure what it is, but ever since the Texas DLCs come out, I have not gotten along with driving around in Texas. It's just... Me and Texas are not... We're not simpatico.
But what I'm going to take away from today is uh, we started with, what was it, just shy of 110,000? And we are at 110,000. So, we made enough money to even out the loan payment. I think the next road going off the interstate is going to be the rest area. But now this little car in front of us is going to troll me. It seems like the second... Alright, we're going... I mean, I'm not in that big of a rush here, but I don't want to be going that slow on the interstate. There's another driver coming back with an empty load. So now we're going to drop below 110,000, yeah, which we did. Uh, is it trucks to the right? Am I... Okay, now, now I just missed the whole rest area. Great. Um, Alright, well, forgive me because um, this is happening. Of course, now I'm facing the wrong way, but no one knows yet. Except for me stalling the engine, going over the curbs. And again. So where where the rest area is, it's kind of like showing it. I mean, it shows a rest area over there. I just. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hopefully there's no... No collisions anywhere in here. Can we get around that trash can? I think that's a trash can. Oh, right there. All right, let's just park here. I really would like to go for a walk somewhere, Cindy, but um, there's no place really to walk to. I may just walk into the woods and uh, punch on a tree for a little while because that's that's that was a frustrating day uh, all together in many different ways here. Um, can I step out of the truck for a second so we can check on the damage? Any damage here? Nah, it looks, looks brand new. She looks brand new to me. She looks fine. She looks fine. I mean... Uh, <laughs> No damage anywhere. That that was a rough day, wasn't it? Um, I I'm kind of glad it's over. Uh, let's hope that next day is a lot better. Uh, at least we should be out of Texas by then and into New Mexico, and then uh, we'll drop off this load, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Um, around Texas, if anything. If I if I got to go back this way, uh, it'd be it'd be around Texas, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I doubt it. Um, but I'll catch you again right here in American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. But until then, have a good one.